All right, just want to show you a new feature from Google called uh, Drive File Stream. It's not available for all of you right yet, but when you're in your Google Drive, if you click on this little um, cog or gear here, you'll see Download File Stream for Windows. Now, this is the version that's for schools and businesses. It's called Backup and Sync when you're using it at home, and it doesn't quite work the same way. But here at Shen, you're going to click on Download Drive File Stream for Windows. It'll take you to this little help page here where you can click the Download for Windows button right there. And then it will begin downloading it in Chrome right here, where you can then click on Open to have it start installing Google File Stream. So what this is going to do is essentially it's going to make everything that's available to you in your Google Drive available um, on the local machine as the H drive. Just like your F drive or the, the sharing drives here, the G and the S, it will give you a new option over here. So when you're looking in Start and Computer, you'll see that currently we have the F, the G, and the S as network locations, and we have only one local drive, which is the C drive. We don't ask you to save anything to the C drive because um, if your machine gets re-imaged, it'll get lost. What we're going to see soon is the H drive right here, which will be um, installed by Google. So you can see our downloads complete, only takes a few seconds. And just a pop, it's going to, there it goes, switch to installing. It will install Google Drive. You will see a new icon down here in your systems tray in just a second. That is the Google Drive icon. And then at the same, about the same time, you will see it back over here in the My Computer screen. So we have to just pause a second for it to install. So what's the advantage of this um, Google Drive file stream? It allows you to essentially get rid of your F drive. Now, currently, you keep your F drive because in order to save Microsoft and PowerPoint files and access them easily, they have to be on the machine or accessible by the machine that you're using. So in this case, it won't, you won't need that. So I got to log in now with my Gen Schools account, my Google Drive. And once I do that, it's going to make that path to my Google Drive locally. Right, so I have to give it permission. So I'm going to say allow. All right, now you see, oh, look, Google Drive file stream is loading your files. When I click on it down here, it'll eventually show me logged in. You can switch between multiple accounts using Google Drive file stream. Um, I'm going to sign in again with it. Oh, there we go. It got me finally. And then there's my Google Drive. This isn't the way that you're going to have to access it, though. You don't have to worry about coming here. What's going to happen is it's going to look just like your F drive. So here it is as an H instead of the F. I come over here, and then I can see my drive. I can come in here, and then these are all the things in my drive. Just so you see the parallel construction, here's my Google Drive. You can see I've got a PowerPoint, a Word file in there. Okay, when I try to open that PowerPoint, it brings it up only in the preview mode. It doesn't actually open it in PowerPoint when I'm using my Google Drive here. However, if I come back over here to my H drive, and I open that same PowerPoint, which resides in my Google Drive, it's going to launch PowerPoint and open up that, that file. Not only that, if I save a file to my H drive, what I'm actually doing is saving that file to my Google Cloud Drive on the Internet. Okay, See, it appears right here, Google H. There it is. I'll call it Photo Album New. I'll click Save. Ooh, that's the first time I've seen that error. I'll save it in my drive there, Photo Album New. All right. And then if I shrink PowerPoint down, and you can see it is now in my H drive here, but if I come back over here and I give it just a second, you'll see it appear over here in my Google Drive. Um, so what I now have is a way to quickly open and save files directly into my Google Cloud Drive from any application that's on my local machine. So you no longer actually even have to use your F drive. You can use your Google H drive for everything. Why? Unlimited storage in the H drive, whereas you have only two gigs in the F drive. So there's the new photo album. There's the old photo album. They're both still in PowerPoint format, not in Google Slides format. So depending on whether you want it to convert things or not and you want to convert over, you can. If you don't want to convert over, you can still continue using the Microsoft applications. So that is Drive File Stream by Google, and it allows you to transfer everything that's in your F drive into your Google Drive, keep it in the same format, and open it from your local machine. You will need to install 
Google Drive file stream on multiple machines if you are using multiple machines. It's not installed to your account. It is installed to the local machine. So if your machine gets re-imaged, you will have to reinstall it. Your documents won't be gone because they're in the cloud.